Hey guys, welcome to beginning ukulele lesson number five. Are you tired out yet? You might be. You've probably been practicing a lot, haven't you? I hope you have. But, but honestly, I hope you're practicing with joy. I want you to enjoy the ukulele. Take your time. There's no rush. Take your time on each part. Well, I'm going to review because that's an important part of learning. And I'm going to review quickly. If you have to, pause, go back, go, go to the previous lessons. Uh, yeah, that's the beauty of being able to, to uh, uh, take some, some lessons, beginning lessons on, on, um, the, on the online like this. So let's start with this. You have your ukulele. Oh, look at that. It's a little different. Did you notice that? You probably didn't even notice. I've been playing with this ukulele. And now there's this one. Look at the different size. I told you there's different sizes. This is a soprano. And now this one is a tenor. It's the third largest size. In between that, there's a concert uh, ukulele. So this is a tenor. And it's a little bigger. It sounds the same, but it's a little bit larger, a little longer. And so what I'm going to do now is use this as the, uh, as the instrument. But I also have this to remind you to tune your ukulele. It's so important to keep your ukulele tuned. They have a tendency to get out of tune sometimes. So keep a tuner around so you can tune it up. All right, let's get started. Do you remember? We've done some strums, this basic strum. One, two, three, four. We went one, two, three, four, or one and two and one and two and, right? And I was strumming with my fingernail, but you can also do it with your thumb. One and two and strumming softly. It's very important. Not rough, not loud. Ukulele is an acoustical instrument, a wooden instrument that makes a beautiful sound when you play softly. Um, we learned about the frets and putting our fingers in the right positions on the, on the frets. That makes a what? A chord. That's right. And we've learned about different chords, and we learned about the C chord, and the A minor, and the F, and then a G7. And that formed what? A chord progression. A, a, a group of chords that make kind of a melody or a sound, or like a song. And so we went like this, two, three, four, A minor, one, two, three, four, F, one, two, three, four, G7. So we did that. I hope you've practiced that. You know, the more you practice, it's going to get easier and easier. And again, probably the biggest problem that, that people have starting off is that the, 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 the uh, strings get deadened. And that's, you know what to do about that. Keep your fingers, the tips of your fingers, shift your hands accordingly and push down using the tips of your fingers. We also had one more chord that we learned, the upside down triangle, and that is a... G chord. Right? So that's where we're at right now. Today I'd like us to, to continue with those chords and let's do practice some a couple different strums that, that you'll be using and also let's do a couple songs. Something to practice. Alright? That's what we're gonna do. So get your ukuleles out and hold them correctly. I'm gonna move up a little bit so you can see the chords and see my um, see the uh, the strumming so here we go I'm gonna use my index finger right here and I'm not gonna be playing a chord I'm just gonna go like this it's called an up up slap so notice that I'm strumming all the strings up slap up slap I'm not slapping hard You'll see how that's useful later. How about a down slap? That's an easy one to do with your thumb. Down slap. Notice I'm keeping a rhythm. Down slap. Gives you good practice at playing it softly. Something to practice. Up slap, down slap. Another strum, which is very popular with ukuleles, is the island strum. The island strum, listen to this. It's down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, 
down up. Look at the screen for a minute. It'll show you that. It'll say down, down, up, up, down, up. And I, and I use just D and U, so I'm not spelling out the words down and up. Down, down, up, up, down, up. That's a good speed, isn't it? Well, that's going to take some practice. I do it naturally because there's a lot of songs that that's a good rhythm to, a good strum. So you'll want to start slowly, like this slow. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up. Then try it with a chord, like a C chord. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then you could even try switching a chord like this. I'm going to go, of course, to the A minor. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down. I'm going back and forth from the C to the A minor. That's a lot to practice, isn't it? I told you it would be. And um, we're going to learn more chords along the way, but I want you to practice. That gives you plenty to practice, I'm telling you. Um, let me show you a song that uh, is very familiar. And it's one, um, well, it's, a, it's an old folk song. It starts with a C, it goes like this. We can just go four count instead of the island strum. Two. You are my sunshine. See, I'm going one, two, three, four. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Now to an F. You make me happy when skies are gray. See how it goes from a C to an F? You'll never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sun. What did I switch to there? The G7. Sunshine away. I used three chords there. A C, an F, and a G7. You are my sunshine. One, two, three. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You'll never know, dear. How much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Notice how I had to shift my hand to do a G7. I've given you so much. Your brains are going to pop out. Listen, enjoy your ukulele. It's a lot of fun. You're on your way to learning, really, to be able to play hundreds of songs. I'll teach you a few more chords next time. Until then, keep practicing. Bye-bye.